Olympia Bird and Ariel Carlson. We will start with an opening statement from coach and then move over to questions for our student athletes. We'll dismiss those two and then go back to coach for questions. Coach, you can get us started with an opening statement. I just really love how we came out today. Um, you know, we've been talking about a lot of things all year. We've been talking about postseason mentality all year. And um, to really see them come out today and just every single person on our team have a hand in what we did and just proud of them. I thought our defense was excellent, thought we were clutch and had timely hitting. And I thought Morgan and Taya, um, Taya Morgan and Tara um, did a great job behind the plate. You can go ahead, Will. Hey, it looked like you almost dropped down to one knee on the home run. I mean, it, were, you, were you looking for a pitch low? And can you talk about kind of fighting through another long at bat and then getting the pitch uh, look like you wanted there? Yeah, well, I was honestly expecting inside because I've been getting inside my whole at bat. And then she just threw me a change up that I was able to keep my hands back on and just got through it. And Ariel, can you speak to just maybe your comfort level? I mean, just having gone through this before here, I mean, just to, your performance seems to dictate that you guys just feel a little more comfortable. Um, can you speak to that and how it might be a factor in the success you're having? I mean, I think life doesn't give you a lot of second chances and we were given one. And so we wanted to take advantage of that. And we'd been in this ballpark before we'd faced this team before in front of this crowd. So it wasn't anything new to us. So we were just ready and take what was ours. Ethan? Of course, you both have some big hits today, um, and a lot of them came right after they took the momentum with the lead, and y'all just snagged it right back. How important was it in that in the top of the fifth to just hand the bat off like y'all did? Um, yeah, I think we just, no matter what they were doing on offense, we just wanted to trust our own process and know that we were going to be able to come back from anything, so just trusting our, each other and then being able to pass the bat. Our team is really big at um, respond, responding after somebody else scores. Our biggest thing is the first thing we're saying when we get into the dugout is respond, respond. So it's the most important thing to us. And then um, y'all had production all throughout. I think like Paige even had, you know, the bunt single and to start a big game for her. How important was that to get all that production just throughout? It's important to pass the bat no matter what. And it's nice when our whole entire lineup can be successful and just continue to pass the bat, like you said. And um, it's important when our whole entire team can contribute to that. Yeah, I mean, hitting is definitely contagious. So being able to just see your teammate do it in front of you and then give information down the lineup just makes it that much easier. You guys are now in new territory. How do you how do you approach mentally kind of moving on from this one and, and trying to refocus and to finish the job here? Just can't keep doing the exact same thing that we're doing. Stay within us, stay focused on us, and just um, keep moving forward. That's it. All right, we'll turn it to Zoom. James, you may unmute yourself. Ariel, just take us through what you're thinking heading into that at bat in the fifth, and that when they bring in a lefty, it might be easy to, to go a certain place in terms of those splits. Um, what are you thinking heading into it? What are you thinking on the eighth pitch, which was – very, very close. Uh, and then on the ninth pitch, uh, if you know what you got. Yeah, I mean, heading into that bat, I don't really know my personal stats against any sort of pitcher. I kind of just get, go in with the same mindset and just see the ball and hit it. And that's what um, I wanted to do, just taking it one pitch out of at a time and not really trying to think too much about it. As a player who's been here for four years, you have a degree of perspective in this. Does this feel like, did that feel like the best offensive inning you guys have played because by a lot of measures, it certainly was. I mean, 61 pitches and 13 batters. Did, was that the best inning you guys felt like you played offensively in your in your career here, Ariel? Um, I mean, throughout my career, I'm sure we've had some really exciting innings, but that one, just given the situation and what we're trying to fight for, that probably was one of my highlight offensive innings being a duck, so for sure. All right, and then Chris? Hey, you'd mentioned earlier in the season that uh, sometimes you don't like having the long at bats, um, but you know, you, it makes you think too much, but these last couple of days, you've had some long at bats and you capitalized. Is there any change in your feeling about the long at bats now? Um, I think I changed my mindset from like, wow, this is a long at bat. And what am I going to do to like, this is a long at bat. This is in my advantage. I get to see a lot more pitches. So it's in my advantage now. So I think it was just a flip in my mentality and it's helped me a lot. And for Ariel, Ariel, you talked earlier in the season a little bit about um, the mindset 
you guys have been close, but not quite getting there. And now you've gotten there. Uh, tomorrow's new territory, as kind of Robin mentioned. What what kind of expectations do you guys have for the team to kind of make sure that you're ready for for that moment? Yeah, I think our mentality this whole time is being getting caught up in the little things and celebrating each other and playing for each other. And that's what's gotten us here. And so that's just what we're going to keep doing. All right. Thanks you to you may be dismissed. Now questions for Coach Rob. You guys threw the first couple punches, but they counterpunched both times. How would you describe kind of the resiliency of your group to just not let that get to them and then put together that big knockout punch? I think they just understand. We all understand that it's postseason. Like you're going to get everybody's best. Nobody's going to show up and lay over. So it's just continuing to do what we know how to do and sticking together as a group. Uh, the little things that we do go a long way. And for them just to continue that, I love their fight. Can you just talk about um, the game that Morgan gave you after getting the save last night and then coming out with that type of performance? Yeah, I thought she threw well. I thought she had a really good command. Um, I love how she was working ahead and changing speeds. And um, I thought her and Morgan, um, her and Tara worked really, really well together. So you do have a veteran group, you have a very mature group, but it is new territory. So just your confidence and maybe your leaders and just up and down the line of how they're going to process this and, and handle kind of the next. 36 hours, whatever. I don't really think we get caught up in anything. I think the biggest thing that we get caught up in is ourselves. You know, it's it's about having a faceless opponent and going into every game, whether it's uh, non-conference, conference, or postseason the same way. Talking about, you said uh, the only thing you're really focused on is yourselves. How nice was that, you know, after seeing Arkansas go ahead to see your team just really not seem phased? I think this group um, has done a really good job of answering back and not just this year. I think that's something this group has done over the years. And so I was pleased to see, you know, uh, we scored a run right off in the first inning and they came back and scored a run. Um, and then for us to score one in the fourth and then they came back and scored two. And then to answer big in the fifth, I thought that was pretty big. I love the adjustments that these guys made. All right, we'll turn it to Zoom. Chris, you may unmute yourself. Coach, the team obviously, obviously comes back. You know, that's one of the, the hallmarks. But specifically, Morgan, the way she came back after that home run, um, it, you could tell that she kind of took that personal. And, and the next couple of pitches and the next the next couple of batters, she really responded. Could you just speak to how resilient she is as a, as a pitcher? Yeah, I mean, sure, that was uh, resilience, big resilience on her part. Um, and just to watch her transform throughout the year and, and see the things that she's doing on the mound, um, I think has been great. But also, too, I think it just credits her defense that she trusts the people around her and she trusts her offense as well. So she doesn't have to try to do this all on her own. And then uh, one one change that has really kind of been a catalyst, in my opinion, is having Kai um, and her speed. Could you just speak to what kind of difference the team has overall speed, but just the inclusion of her in the lineup, what, what that does, what, what kind of opportunities that presents for the team. Yeah, it's been great to get her back. I mean, we missed her almost half the season. So to get her back in the lineup and allow her to do what she does best, um, you know, is to put the ball in play and, you know, let's have a foot race has been huge for us. She's done a lot of things for us, start a lot of innings and I just wanted to keep doing what she's doing. All right, we'll go to James. Missy, by any objective measure, that was the best offensive inning of your tenure. Uh, as I mentioned before, 13 batters, 61 pitches, uh, eight players reach base. What part of all that, including some of the situational splits, whether it's Ariel against lefties, uh, Taya against lefties, Page against lefties, what part of that inning – is most satisfying or rewarding to you as a coach when it is, when it is this moment in this stage, uh, and and it's been such a process to get to that point and to have that be the result. I thought it was a great inning. I love how these guys answered back. Um, for us, when we do things um, the way we want to do them, it's about passing the bat, and I thought they did a great job of passing the bat and just wanting to continue the inning. All right. Thank you. All right.